All right, Warriors, we are live from the quarantine and um, we have a Saturday workout for you. We haven't done 10 Warrior Days in forever, so um, we're going to try to work through that, um, see how, how uh, confused we can get you guys um, with the, 12 or the 10 Warrior Days that uh, always turns out to be pretty confusing. But um, as far as anything that you might need for this, we'll need a mat and um, some sort of weighted object for squats if you choose to do your squats uh, weighted. You can either do kettlebell, um, dumbbells, cat, bleach bottles, whatever you have available. Uh, it, it, as far as our theme for April is concerned, we have our everyday hero theme that we're gonna continue with. And um, this is a really good story. This is um, about an Armenian 17 time world champion Finn swimmer, uh, Shavash, uh, Karpitian, which um, I apologize, I, I know I mispronounced that, but um, anyway, uh, Shabash not only um, did swimming as his training, but he also did weight training and he also ran. And uh, one day he was at the end of a 12 mile run when he saw a bus go off of a bridge into a river and uh, he immediately dove in to try to save some people. Um, he ended up saving 20 people, but he actually had to dive 33 feet to get to, um, to, get to those people. And um, uh, he um, ended up being pretty injured afterwards. He was uh, unconscious for days. But um, we, we, you know, we talk about um, uh, like all of this other training that we, that we do in here. And um, his training, uh, his physical training actually, you know, obviously made him a world champion, but um, his uh, bravery and that act of bravery that he did in that moment made him a, a champion at life. Bum, bum, bum. Right, so we're gonna get into it. We're gonna go uh, into our mobility and then we're gonna warm up with each of the exercises in the 10 warrior days just to make sure that we're used to them. All right, guys, so we are gonna start with our shin box kick through. So we're gonna sit on the ground and I want my leg in front of me this way with my knee touching my foot, the bottom of my foot. I'm gonna to try to stay as upright as possible. In order to stay as upright as possible, I may need to put my arms behind me to keep me stable. I'm gonna do it without my arms, but I'm gonna take this back leg, I'm gonna kick it out, I'm gonna bring it towards you, and then I'm gonna bring it back in and down. All right, let's do that three times on the right, Again, if you need to, put your hands behind you to keep that chest up. What we're trying not to do is we're trying not to bend with this. Kick it forward and back down. Then we're going to switch it out. So again, I have my, my uh, shin straight in front of me. And then I have my knee touching the bottom of my foot. And I'm going to kick out towards you and back in. Trying to stay as controlled as possible and back in. Kick it out and back in. Awesome. Next guys, we're gonna go into our half kneeling shoulder circles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my uh, one leg in front of me, my other foot is pushing into the ground and I'm gonna have my pelvis push forward. I'm gonna reach with the hand of the bottom leg. So I'm gonna reach forward. I'm trying to keep that rib cage down as I reach out of my arm. Then I'm gonna rotate my hand out and my shoulder as I slowly bring that arm to the back. Now my hand is starting to face up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna bring it down next to my body. I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna go back that same way. So palm up. Now it starts to rotate. My hand is facing towards you now. Keeping that shoulder extended, but rib cage down. Rotating my palm to the other wall and back down. All right, then we're gonna switch it out to the other side. So again, pelvis forward, shoelaces pushed into the, into the ground. Gonna reach, rib cage down, arm is extending. Now, as I get to the top, I rotate my hand toward you. And then I rotate my hand to the back wall. And then I'm rotating my palm up to the ceiling. Shoulder is moving in unison with that hand the entire time. So again, palm up, 
Rotate it towards you. Rotate it towards the other wall. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Coming back down. All right, now we're gonna do some shoulder circles because I, I just felt like my shoulders need a little bit extra work. So we're gonna go into our quadruped position and I'm gonna bring my shoulders up to the ceiling and then toward my ears. And then I'm gonna lift my thoracic spine up away from my shoulders, bringing my shoulders down to my back pockets and around. So just try to make those really big, nice shoulder circles in this direction five times. Now let's take it the other way. So I'm gonna bring my shoulders up towards my ears, back towards my back pockets. I'm gonna lift up out of my shoulders, bring my shoulders forward and take my circles that way. Five times guys, take your time. Get, those, get that full range of motion while you're doing this. All right. Now we're gonna go into our deep squats with our hamstring stretch. So I want my feet, my toes pointed out. I'm gonna make room with my hips. I'm gonna come down into this deep squat. I'm gonna to touch both of my toes. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna rotate out. And then I'm gonna straighten my legs as I hold on to my toes and get this nice stretch in my hamstrings. Hold it there. Now, come back down into that deep squat. Rotate away, rotate away. Hold on to those toes, straighten those legs and hold it. Maybe you're dropping a little bit deeper this time. Breathe in, breathe out, come back down into that deep squat. Rotate, rotate, grab those toes, straighten those legs if you can. Oh, hopefully you're feeling this nice stretch in those hamstrings, guys, the back of those thighs. Let's just do one more. Feeling the need to get my stretch on this morning. Ha ha. Rotating, coming up. All right, then we're gonna stand up. Okay, so for um, this exercise, for, this, for the 10 warrior days, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of the exercises. We're gonna do five of each just to get used to, to them. Um, but when we're actually doing the 10 warrior days itself, we're gonna have a specific number associated with each of those exercises. And when you're watching the YouTube video, you'll be able to see that in the description below. So um, for our 10 warrior days, um, our, uh, the um, cardio starter for this each time, each round is gonna be our 10 squats. So grab a weight if you want, or you can just do body weight, but let's go ahead and do, um, we're just gonna do, well, let's do 10. We'll just do 10 squats. So squeeze those glutes at the top, lock out those legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so our next exercise is going to be push ups. So let's go ahead and do five push ups just for our warm up. If, if you need to, you can do it from an elevated surface. So feet together, everything is on, my body is one solid unit. I'm coming down to my chest and back up. Down to my chest and back up. Keeping those elbows in tight or at a 45 degree angle from my body. Don't keep those elbows extended out near your shoulders. Four, five, all right. The next exercise in the circuit is going to be inchworms. So for my inchworms, I'm gonna to stand to the side. I'm gonna come down, put my hands on the floor. I'm gonna come out and then back in again. Taking tiny little steps out with my hands, coming into this full plank, coming back in. So let's go ahead and do five. This is three.
This is four. And this is five. All right. So next, we have bird dogs. So for my bird dogs, what I want to do is I want to come into this quadruped position. My shoulders are over my wrists. And I'm going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg. And then I'm going to switch it out to the other side. All right, so the opposite arm, opposite leg part is very essential so you don't fall over. And what I want you to do is I want you to really reach out as far to that front wall with that hand as possible, and I want you to reach out as far with that back leg as possible. This is not about height of your leg. It's about getting that glute, your butt, to really engage with this. All right, let's go ahead and do five on each side as far as our warm-up. This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right. So our next exercise in the circuit is going to be our penguins, our penguins. So I'm going to lay down on my back, trying to get my feet as close to my butt as possible. I'm going to raise my um, upper torso up on my shoulder blades. I'm going to reach down my feet as far as I can as I squeeze or contract those obliques. So go ahead and give me five on each side. Three. This is four. And that is five. All right. Next one that we have is going to be our lateral lunges on each side. So I'm going to stick my butt to that back wall. I'm going to step it in. Sticking my butt to the back wall as I bend this leg. This leg is straight. Step back in. All right. Just give me five on each side with this. I want you to put all that weight in that lead leg. That lead leg is also the leg that brings you back upright again. So I'm not pushing off on that leg. I'm letting this leg draw me back in. So I think this is four. And this is five. All right. So I got that. Then I got my crossbody mountain climbers. So I'm going to come into this high plank position. Again, I want my shoulders over my wrists. I'm going to bring my knee to my elbow. Knee to my elbow. So go ahead and give me five on each side. Four, five, nice. Try not to have that butt stick up in the air so that our shoulders come back. And then we're gonna do an upright row. So if you're using a weight for your squat, you can use the same weight, or if you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell or a cat, we're gonna have our feet on the narrow side. I have, I'm squeezing my glutes right now and I'm leading with my elbows as I come up and back down, up and back down. Now guys, I'm gonna make sure that I get that full extension with my arms at the bottom. Three, four, and five. Nice. Then I'm gonna go into my knee grabs. So for my knee grabs, I always start with my legs out straight, arms are in tight to my chest as I throw those arms forward, putting those feet flat on the ground and then back down again, just touching my shoulder blades to the ground. So go ahead and give me five of those. This is three, this is four, and this is five. Yeah, all right, so that was number nine. So for our 10, for our number 10, we're gonna be doing T-spine planks. So I'm gonna come down into my plank position on my elbows. My butt is just slightly raised or just at the same height as my shoulders. I'm going to have my feet spread out so that I keep some stability. And I'm going to bring that elbow up to the ceiling, rotating my entire body, come back down. Rotate it out to the other side, come back down. All right, five on each side. So this is two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. 
Nice. Okay. So let's grab some water and then I'll talk you through how we're going to do this 10 warrior days. So with the 10 warrior days, you can, all, you can always do it at your own pace. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going through the exercises. Um, if I need to, I'll take about 30 seconds of rest before I start my squats again. But to explain the 10 warrior days, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our 10 squats. Then we're going to do two push-ups. We're going to go back to our 10 squats. Then we're going to do three inchworms, two push-ups, 10 squats. Then we're going to do four bird dogs, three inchworms, two push-ups, 10 squats. All right, so we're always going to start with the exercise that we haven't done yet and then work our way back up, okay? So I'm going to go at probably a moderate pace. I'm not going to go super fast, but I'm also not going to go really slow. And so if you need to, you can slow this down. You can take a 30 second rest before you start your 10 squats again. But I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. I have a feeling that we are definitely going to get through this in 20 minutes. But that's, that's how you know how long you should go. So if you don't get through it in 20 minutes, that's fine. When the 20 minutes is up, you're done. All right. So hopefully you've got some water. And we're getting ready to go in three, two, one. And we're going. So starting with my squats. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Joe G, getting low. I love it. I love it. All right. Now I'm going to go into my two push ups. So I'm going to do strict push ups from the ground, but um, if you need to do elevated push ups, that's totally fine. So making sure that I touch my chest each time. Now I'm going back into my 10 squats. Grabbing my weight if you want. Really lock out those hips at the top, guys. Lock out those glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. In case you didn't hear that, Josh said that this workout should just be called the 100 squat workout. All right, guys, so now we're going to go into our three inchworms. Inchworms. So widen out those feet as much as you need to in order to keep those legs straight. Walking back in. It's one, two, and Three. All right. So now, after those three inchworms, I'm going to go back into my two push ups. Two push ups. Ah, ah, ah. One, two. And then guess what? Going back into our squats. Again, this would be a good time to take a 30 second rest if you need it. If you don't, just keep plugging away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. The next thing we have is our four bird dogs on each side. So, I'm in this quadruped position, reaching out to the front and to the back wall with opposite arm, opposite leg. That's two. This is three and four. Feel it in that extended leg glute. All right, going back into my inchworm. Just three of these. It's one. This is two. That's three. Going into my push-up. 
feet together, legs are on. Just two push-ups. You're welcome. And now we're going back into our 10 squats again. Remember, you can always pause this. You can get some rest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Awesome. Now we have our five penguins on each side, coming down to the ground, feeding close to the butt, reaching down as far down those feet as you can. It's two, three, it's four, and five. Awesome. Rolling over into our four bird dogs on each side. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Going into my inchworms. Feeling that nice hamstring stretch at the top. Trying to get as much from these exercises as we can, guys. No need to rush this. I want you to get that nice stretch. This is three. Oh my God, look at this. I'm just gonna crawl right into that push-up because I'm gonna do two push-ups now. One, two, standing up. Now, I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna grab some water. Getting into it. Going into my squats. One. Was that? No. Three. <laughs> you just can't act tired. Four. Five. Six. Getting, getting as low as you can, guys. Trying to get at least parallel. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Now we have our lateral lunges. So we're going to do six lateral lunges on each side. Stepping out, bringing that butt to the back wall. Step in. It's one. Two, three, four, five, and six. Ha ha ha. All right. So then I'm going back into my penguins. Yay, everybody loves penguins. Everybody wants to work on those obliques. So we got five penguins. Two, three, this is four, and five. All right, then I have my four bird dogs on each side. That's one, two. Three. Four. Awesome. Into my three inchworms. Ah. <laughs> they don't cost anything, Josh. These are free inchworms. No. That's two. Three. All right, going right into my push-ups. Bringing those feet together. One, two. Starting to really feel those push-ups, guys, even though there's just two. All right, going back into it. Going into my squats. Guys, we've been talking about everyday heroes. I wanna do a warrior shout out to 
Kyla, who's been making masks for hospitals for just about as long as we've been in quarantine. Last night, she was trying to make 50 more before she went to bed. Yeah. She's doing this stuff, guys. It's awesome. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Yes. So now we have our seven crossbody mountain climbers coming into this high plank, trying to bring that knee to that elbow, that leg that comes forward. We're not putting that, that foot on the ground. That foot stays off the ground. This is four, five, six, and seven. Awesome. Now we're going to go into our six lateral lunges. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Ah, ah, ah. Penguins, five penguins. I love penguins. Two, three. The exercise of the animal. Both. Four, five. All right. And then we got some bird dogs doing all kinds of animals and insects. This is two. This is three. And four. What are we doing now? Three inchworms. Yay! That's one. There be two. Arg. And that's three. That's a pirate doing inchworm, guys. Now I'm just going to come right back out into my push up, boom, getting that chest to the ground. I'm not losing those ab guys. Don't let that butt drop, keep that butt up. And guess what? I'm gonna grab some water. Ha 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 ha. Another alternate that you can do with this guys is if you're feeling it with these weighted squats, just drop the weight, all right? Going into my 10 squats. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, 10. Josh just said, isn't it nice being heckled by a live crowd? And that's, that's my life every day, not just in a workout. Josh just heckles me all day long. Okay, guys, now we have our upright rows. Upright rows, and we're doing eight of those. So guys, squeeze those glutes. I want you to keep that pillar of the body really strong, leading with those elbows and back down. Eight. So that's two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, yay yo. Now we have our seven crossbody mountain climbers. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, sorry, just seven, just seven. Oh my God. I just did too many. All right, now I got my lateral lunges. Just six, just six on each side. Step it out and in, step it out and in. So guys, with this, see how far I'm pulling my butt to the back wall and then I'm coming back in? All right, I want you to get deep with this. Get low. 
So that's three. This is four. This is five. One more for six. All right. Five penguins. Hey, penguins. One. Get that full range of motion, guys. Really feel those obliques as you're engaging them on both sides. Four, five. Going into my four bird dogs. One, two, three, four. All right, going into inchworms. See, you're getting used to it now. Coming out. It's one. three, then I'm just gonna walk it right out into my push-ups, coming all the way to the ground and up, or all the way to my surface and up, ha-ha. Now, I should have been letting you know how much time that we have left in this circuit. We have about four and a half minutes left in this circuit, so we're gonna try to get through as many of these as we can. Again, if you need to take rest, do so. Starting off with my squats. One, two, keeping my upper torso as upright as I possibly can. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's that mean? Oh, yeah. All right, so guys, now we have our knee grabs. So that's nine knee grabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Use those shins, seven, eight, Nine, and that was nine, just nine. <laughs> All right, then I got my upright rows. Grabbing my weight, my book, my cat, my dog, my ferret, whatever you have that isn't gonna rip off your face if you try to lift them. This is three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, going into our seven crossbody mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that was just supposed to be seven. Now we're going into our six lateral lunges on each side. One, it's two, it's three, this is four, five, and six. All right, now we have our five penguins. Get those shoulder blades up, guys. Really reach down as far down those feet as you can. Three, four, five. Going into my bird dogs. Really reach, take your time. Feel that glute activate as you're pulling that leg to that back wall. This is three and 
four. Nice. What are we doing next? Three inchworms. You guessed it. Hua. It's one. This is two. This is three. And then I'm just going to walk right down into my push up. Or you can walk over to whatever surface you're doing it from, whether or not it's a countertop. All right, guys, we're going to practice our halusa for our last set. This it. So, halusa in Finnish means I got this. So, when you yell it out, people respond that they also got it and then they're with, with, with you on it, all right? So this is, our, this is our support cry. Was that it, Josh? That's it. Oh, that was it? I'm trying to shut up. Oh, okay, all right. Anyway, we're gonna do this last one because I think we're doing all right, okay? If you're super gassed, you can stop here, but we're gonna yell out. Halusa! 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 Teach your kids to do this, guys, it's great. And then you won't seem crazy when you're in the basement at 7 a.m. in the morning yelling out halusa if you have a basement. Or maybe uh, teach your uh, neighbors how to do it too. So we're gonna go into our last set, which is gonna be our best set. And now we're doing our 10 squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we have our 10 T-spine planks with rotation coming down to my forearms. Guys, again, I don't want my butt up in the air. I don't want to push back on my shoulders. I want to be here with my butt down. And then I'm going to rotate. I'm going to rotate. That's one. Feet are out wide. This is two. This is three. This is four. Feeling it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Aha. Ten. All right. Now we're going into our nine knee grabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now we have our eight upright rows. This is one of my favorite exercises in this circuit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven cross body mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that was seven, yeah. Then I got my six lateral lunges. One. Two, you got this, you got this. This is three. Four. Five. <laughs> six. Five penguins. Five penguins. My favorite flightless bird. Two, three, four, five. Four bird dogs. See, this isn't so bad, guys. Once we start to get through it, it starts to get a little less confusing. You get used to the pattern. This is three. And four. I'm going to go into my inchworms. 
It's one. Two. Three. Now I got my push-ups. Just two of those. Just two. One. Two. Ha-ha. Now, guys, we usually finish with our cardio primer, which is either our sprints or our kettlebell swings or our quick feet, or in this case, our squats. So since we're gonna finish with our squats and we're going go right into our homework, let's just do 20 all together and then we'll get that part out of the way, all right? So before we go into our homework, let's go ahead and grab some water. This was really good because I was either gonna have you stop at 10 minutes or if we hadn't made it through yet, um, I was gonna have you finish out this circuit, but then we wouldn't do an ab finisher. So you're welcome. We just did all of the 10 warrior days. Now we're gonna go into our 20 squats for homework. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ha ha, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo, what do we have next? Knee grabs. Yay, hopefully you did your knee grab test yesterday so you guys are all ready to go. 10 knee grabs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then my very, very favorite swimmers. All right. Shoelace is pushed into the ground, bringing those hands forward. Fingers are splayed. I'm gonna bring my hands into my rib cage as I lift up and reach out. 20 of these. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You did it. You did all the things. Great job, guys. The reason why we're talking about these everyday heroes is we're, we're also putting our training into perspective. So in, at Training for Warriors, we're not only working on our bodies, we're working on our minds, we're working on our emotional state, and all of those things make you ready to handle life's challenges as they get thrown at you. So even if you need to help somebody out on the street who's having a hard time or if you need to overcome an illness or an injury, all this training is gonna make that healing just that much faster. It's gonna make you that much stronger. So we're here at Training for Warriors to help you bring forth the warrior within. We love you, we miss you. Okay guys, so uh, I'm gonna be virtual Catlin and I did my knee grab test yesterday. Catlin's um, old score was 44 and she got 47. So we're gonna ring the bell for Catlin. But first we're gonna do our Catlin uh, high five. So here we go, ready? <laughs> I'm gonna come over and ring the bell. <laughs> Yay, Catlin! 